together, we're at PubCon Dallas 2010, and joining me now is Jordan Casteller. He is co-founder at Search and Social. How you doing, Jordan? Good. How you doing? I'm doing good today. Good. Doing well. Um, so Jordan's talking about links today. Links, links, links is the title of his session, or in the description. I'm not sure. Um, in any case, let's clear up the confusion. What what what's going on with links? What which links are important? Which links do we want um, to drive value to our site? Well, I'm, I'm taking things a little bit off topic here in that panel. Everyone's talking about traditional link building and how to approach them and what the, are the different types of links to get. I'm talking specifically on link bait, and that is creating content to try to obtain links um, through means of social media and promoting that content through social media. So the links that you're going to get from that particular piece of content, if it's successful, are going to be ranging all over the place. You're going to get good links, bad links, no follow, do follow. You're going to get some high quality ones, some low quality ones, and it's great because that's diversifying your link profile and you're not just getting one particular type of link with one particular type of anchor text and it doesn't look fishy at all or anything like that. So um, it's really great in that regards, but you can't control what kind of link you're going to get. You can take your content at that point, if it's been successful, and then pitch it to some high-end publishers and try to get links at that point. But that's the thing, is you really have little control. But, but it also works out being a positive, too, because it's, it's natural. Okay, and so um, you also said that you were going to maybe mention uh, info infographics, which I really was unfamiliar with. I have seen them, mm -hmm. um, but maybe you can tell us a little bit about what they are and kind of how people are using them nowadays. Sure. So traditionally, like with link bait in the past, everybody's been creating like top ten list, uh, you know, top ten reasons to vote Obama in this year or whatever like that. Infographics are the, like kind of the popular thing now. They're they're kind of the popular top ten list. They have been for the past couple years and what infographics are is just a way of visualizing data whether it's statistical whether it's a chart a timeline a map it's a way of uh, visualizing data in a very aesthetic manner so it's easily digestible and people are really appreciating that in social media because they're constantly checking out content all day they don't have a whole lot of time and if they can look at something that's very visually aesthetic and they can digest it in a really quick amount of time um, they really appreciate that. So what we've what we've done is taken like all of our, our approaches to content and kind of figured out a way to make them more visual. So it's just essentially a solid image, and uh, it obtains all that information. And then we we provide an embed code for them to link back to that content. So providing them an easy way to link back. And these things get a whole lot more links than you would if you took that same amount of content and put it in a traditional type of news article or anything like that. So uh, we've taken it even a step further recently and created these uh, infographics to be more enhanced in the fact that they're interactive now. We've taken them in flash and so you can click on different areas of a map, click on different things and select different content and different things will pop up and stuff like that. So it's more fun for the user. They actually get to engage with that content too. Do you have any predictions for what we're going to start seeing? What's going on? Have you heard some buzz around? Um, some tips? Uh, you know, I actually think uh, sooner or later people are going to get sick of infographics because at first it was just the clever people that were trying to link bait with them and now everybody's trying to do them. And so I think the social media community is really catching on to people that are really trying to link bait with infographics and what their intent really is. A lot of commercial entities are trying to get into the process too. So I think that's slowly going to die down. And I'm not sure what the next big thing is going to be. You know, you never know because at first it was top ten lists, and then it was quizzes and widgets, and then it was infographics. And um, now the infographics are starting to go interactive. But I really think video is going to be the next thing. And taking the same sort of concept, visualizing that data, but doing it in an animated format. And so you're watching a video for 30 seconds that's giving you all the information, but you don't have to do any reading yourself or anything like that, you know, and it's delivering all that content for you. And there's been a, been a few of them recently that have done a really good job. I think Mint.com did one um, on the financial crisis that was really great, and it got thousands of links. So I really think that's the direction that's probably going to head towards. All right, Jordan, well, we're going to wrap up. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks,